Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. Guys, we're going to be talking about something incredibly important today. You're definitely going to want to know this information, so I would say right now, make sure to stay tuned until the very end of the video. And before I proceed, I am not giving you any medical advice, I am not making any medical claims, and with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I actually had a suspicion quite some time ago, based on just a lot of people that I've met and my own experiences, that there's something that we're either doing to ourselves or basically something in our environment that's causing us to make us sick. So anybody who wants to really get well or improve their health, I think you're gonna wanna watch this whole video. I stumbled upon this. It's, it's a chemical. We just can call it PFOS for short right here. And let's find out first of all what it is. It's a man-made chemical, guys. We've been using it since the 1940s and they're finding in a lot of consumer products. They have cookware, food packaging, stain repellent. Um, it's in the air, the soil, the water, including sources of drinking water. And here is where the danger comes in. It's also found in other things like nail polish, makeup, and I'm gonna go into that a little more because first, let's find out what this stuff actually does to your body. So, a recent review from the US Center of Disease and Control, basically the CDC, outlined some of the effects of expo exposure to this stuff, guys. It includes cancer, liver damage, decreased fertility, and increased risk of asthma and thyroid disease. And guys, that is not all. We're gonna go into some other stuff too, but basically this stuff is real nasty. They call it the forever chemical, and we'll get into why in a second because you pretty much, well, it's forever. You can't really seem to get it out of your body very well. But let's go ahead and start here, and let me show you some of the other effects that it can seem to have on the body. Increased cholesterol levels, decreased vaccine response in children, changes in liver enzymes, increased risk of high blood pressure or preeclampsia in pregnant women, small decreases in infant birth weight, increased risk of kidney or testicular cancer, which actually I know some people dealing with these, quite a few actually. And let's go ahead and ask the next question, which is how can I be exposed? Now, the way that I'm finding the most people are is through their drinking water, and that's literally what it says right here. Drinking contaminated municipal water or private well water, guys. Don't think for a second that if you're on a private well, you're not exposed to this stuff. This stuff seems to be everywhere. In fact, they're guesstimating that it's in over 200 million people's bodies here in the United States. Well, it's almost in everybody's body, but it's in like the actual drinking water of over 200 million Americans, and that's just a guesstimate. Um, another issue, eating fish caught from, you know, fish that basically have been exposed to this chemical. It's one of the reasons that I really don't like to eat fish a lot. Also, the waters are so contaminated these days. I do think fish can be healthy if used properly and seldomly, but this is changing, you know, a lot of things in regards to that if you really wanna get really healthy. Accidentally swallowing some contaminated soil or dust. Um, eating food that is in certain types of packaging that contains PFAS. So that's another thing. I tend to try to get stuff that you know doesn't go in the microwave. They were talking about things like um, maybe microwavable foods, a lot of the garbage food, the candies, because um, the wrappers, stuff, stuff of that nature, popcorn that you put in a microwave, things of that nature. Using some consumer products such as nonstick cookware, again, stain resistant carpeting and water repellent clothing. There's actually some other stuff here too. Um, shampoos, guys, try to get real natural stuff. Dental floss, that's pretty scary. And cosmetics, the nail polish, the eye makeup. This is why I personally suggest to people, don't put any of this stuff on. I mean, look at my nails. I mean, don't, you know, I know that it looks pretty, but I would personally stay away from all this chemical stuff that really affects us. Here we go, some of the other stuff. Some grease resistant paper. This is another reason that I, that I actually say stay away from greasy foods but fast food containers, wrappers, microwave popcorn bags, pizza boxes, candy wrappers, things that are really oily so it doesn't stick, guys, just like the non-stick cookware right here. Um, this is another funny one. Stain-resistant uh, coatings used on carpet, upholstery, and other fabrics, water-resistant clothing. You know, it's a funny thing. People are always getting on me about buying new clothes, and I just like to use the same old stuff I've had for a long time because well, I'm a simple guy and God knows what's in this, you know, the stuff that they're putting in the clothes these days. Um, cleaning products. I mean, it's all over the place, guys. It's, it's pretty bad. Uh, one of the other things that I found here, let's see here. Again, we're going to go into how to get rid of this stuff, so we'll talk that in a second. Here's another important one. PFAS in the U.S. Most people in the United States have been exposed to PFAS and have it in their blood. Um, I believe it also causes a type of blood cancer. You can actually go to your doctor and request a blood screening for that. I'm gonna put some links below 
on the distillers that I recommend because this is one of the reasons that I recommend distillation of the water. It's the only real way to clean it up completely. I mean, they show that certain, they call it GAC, which is granular activated carbon. It's a type of water filtration system, guys, and also reverse osmosis. It's pretty decently effective, um, but does distillation really work? It is virtually 100% removal. Um, they did actually do a test, guys, this is awesome, where they literally distilled water samples that they knew had PFAS in it, and they could not detect PFAS after the distillation process. Now remember, boiling water that contains PFAS will not release them. So it's the distillation process, guys. I know the distillers are a little spendy. Uh, they're not too bad. I mean, I got uh, the one that I recommend with the discount code is just a tiny bit over 500 bucks but that's so much cheaper than medical bills. And of course the suffering that you go through when you have these type of issues uh, inflicted on yourself and both on family members that have to go through this type of stuff. Now, one of the other things is they say, well, how much is safe? You know, originally they've had many different types of numbers and now they're saying that it has to be below 70 parts per trillion, guys. Honestly, that's not a lot. It lets you know that this stuff is so bad for you and then having a very small amount of it is pretty nasty so i would definitely uh, i would definitely do something that you can uh filter this stuff out now how do you get it out of your body if it's in your body now according to it says currently there are no definitive medical procedures that can clear pfos from your body guys according to the secretary of the united states navy however the next best step is to remove the source of the exposure from your environment now, in my opinion, again, not medical advice, and I'm not making any claims, but in my opinion, hydrogen would not only help pull this stuff out of your body, uh, also with very, very clean water, and I also think that it'll help with a lot of the free radical damage that this stuff causes. And of course, you used to see what hydrogen does for the liver. This stuff, PFAS seems to affect the liver and the immune system so badly, and the kidneys. I really think that the free radical damage and the carcinogens, all that stuff, nasty stuff that hydrogen can help with. Now. There's a video from ABC News. I'm gonna put a link on it below where it really goes into great detail about PFAS. And I really think you guys will find it helpful. But the big question is again, how do we get it out of our bodies and how do we get it out of our water? And I think that this will be something that's very helpful for people out there. So don't forget to share guys. Of course, don't forget to support the channel, give the video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, all that good stuff. But just absolutely don't forget to share because a lot of people who are sick and they don't know why and they just continue to be sick no matter what they do. And I have seen people greatly improve their health when they clean their water and when they start using hydrogen. And then of course you get all the proper nutrients in your body. It's not rocket science, guys. So I really hope that you found this helpful. Again, don't forget to share this. I think it's very, very important information. Thank you all for watching and supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys next time on the next one. I wish you all good health and happiness, guys. Till next time.